Welcome back, everyone, to Square 4. This is Camp Camp, Season 1, Episode 9, David Gets Hard. Gross. What do you think's happening with David? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure I want to know. I think you <laughs> do want to know what's happening with him. You think he's getting hard in that way? <laughs> I mean, I sure hope not, because he's just in a camp filled with kids. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> Gwen is there. She's uh, she's of age. That's true, but still. But I don't. Uh, do you think? Yeah, no, I was gonna ask. Do you think David has ever gotten hard? But <laughs> you, you never know. You never know. You let's, really don't. Let's just uh, <laughs> let's just watch the episode, shall we? T G I F, kiddos. Boy, has it been a week. Monday we went base jumping for Arid's Extreme Sports Camp. Tuesday we froze Harrison alive for Magic Camp. Oh. I can fix that. <laughs> Wednesday was a double whammy for arts and performance. Do not move a muscle. And all of these hilarious props and gags are courtesy of Thursday's visual comedy camp. <laughs> Thursday's over, Scotty. Go back to your tent. <laughs> so, Gwen, Poor which clown. camper are we focusing on to wrap to up the week? Well. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, co-counselor. Who's it going to be? It's Nerf. <laughs> Space kid, no. Breach! <laughs> oh dear. Nerf <laughs> he broke his helmet. What no. camp did he Nerf breached. sign up for? Oh, Nerf didn't sign up for a camp. His parents signed him up for behavioral correction camp. Boot camp. Fuck yeah, scare me straight. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, if I don't see definitive results, I'm contacting my parents. I don't. Yeah, don't be a fucking. F Yes. Well, tell him you touched me. Hey, I told you. You can. David's getting hard. This David's getting hard. <laughs> oh, no, no. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, boop. There it is. <laughs> boot camp. Right. We knew this day would come. I don't know if I can do this, Gwen. Camp is supposed to be about learning and having fun. Well, we're going to learn that little shit some manners, David, because we are contractually obligated to. I am not moving back in with my parents. But I'm not tough enough to run a boot camp. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may not be tough enough to run a boot camp, David, but I can teach you. Teach me? Oh, yeah. Teach you how to be mean, how mm -hmm. to be hard, how to keep kids like Nerf out there from walking all over you. After all, there's only one camper at Camp Campbell worse than him, and it's me. What do you want? Double dessert, no activities for a week, and David's social security number. Done. Gwen! Shut up, David! <laughs> okay. No! <laughs> you can't just back down the moment someone gets in your face, idiot! Yeah! You gotta stand up for yourself! I can't do this alone, which means you've got to pull yourself together! Gosh darn it, you're right, Gwen! Today's the day I get hard. Okay, maybe we don't phrase it like that. Oh no! Rule one, <laughs> no backing down! Look out, world! I'm hard and I'm coming! Whether he likes it or not, <laughs> Nerf is gonna let me in! Oh, God. <laughs> Owie. So, does he want to help Nerf or fuck him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Alrighty, Nerf. It's high time we whipped you into shape, uh, Sonny. Now I am confiscating that pocket knife. Nice. <laughs> You're pathetic. And I'm getting blood on my boots. Guys, I just don't know if this whole tough guy technique is going to work. What if we just, I don't know, give him a hug? Those always make me feel better. No hugs! You just gotta change your perspective on life. Tell me, how do you feel about your co-counselor Gwen? Well, she's smart. She helps me run activities. No, no, you're being positive again. Gwen's the fucking worst. She slacks off, reads garbage, and has no idea what she's doing with her life. What? <laughs> There's no time traveling doctor coming to save you, Gwen. Get your shit together. I just want to have his British babies. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good Doctor Who reference. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a Doctor Who reference? Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you. Let him have it. Now, this may sound harsh, but gosh darn it, I don't think you're very nice. In fact, wow. I'd go as far to say you're mean. 
Okay, let's dig a little deeper there, idiot. Right. I know that's probably hard to hear. No. And may have even been a little too far. Not at all. But by golly, it seems to me like you've never been very polite to anyone. God damn it. I just don't think you're aware of the impact your behavior is having on other campers. But, you know, if you are aware of that, then that is some good self-awareness. Okay, now you're just complimenting him. So, the tough love approach, huh? You know my uncle believed in tough love? Turns out Child Protective Services didn't, though. Excuse me? Assuming I've always been bad is pretty narrow-minded of you, David. Did it ever occur to you that maybe I'm just a product of a judgmental, overprotective society? Uh... I mean, you'd shoot one Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun, and bam! It's school suspension! Suddenly you're labeled a problem child. You're not like the other kids. You're bad. So then you get sent to a place where other kids perpetuate the same negative mentality, making you worse so that by the time you return to normal school life, you actually are bad, thus continuing the endless cycle of crime and punishment until all that's left is a little boy. A little boy who only believes he can be what the world tells him he is. A loser. A lost cause. A bully. That's one hell of a backstory. I am so sorry. <laughs> Whatever, Dick Turn! <laughs> Man, he is way more fucked up than I thought. You two are idiots. Being tough isn't the same as being an asshole. You guys gotta take this from a more psychological approach. How would you know? As a matter of fact, I dual majored in psychology. So you have two useless degrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you suggesting? Oof. Well... <clears throat> you sure you don't want to get in on this whole nerf-centric adventure today? Yeah, I'm good. We'll probably do something crazy next week. Oops, didn't see you there. Just kidding, I was fully aware of the situation. I'm just acting out for attention. That being said, I do think I need corrective lenses. My mom just won't take me. Nerf! I think it's time we all had a little <laughs> talk. Oh, so we're doing the whole Freudian thing now? Everyone wants to fuck their own mom. Get over it! <laughs> Be strong. Nerf! We feel as though you have a relatively strong grasp on the events that have led to your negative behavior, and we wanted to walk through them with you together in the hopes of finding a solution. This isn't going to be easy, but we think- PUT THE KNIFE DOWN! <laughs> ah! But we think that this is the only way we're going to get to the root of your issues. He's actually terrified so nerf, of the knife what now. What do you say? <laughs> well, to be fair, I would I be too. I don't want to get stabbed through my I hands mean, twice. Got stabbed two times. <laughs> These behavioral problems seem to be stemming from a vast variety of issues. But what's truly important is that I don't allow society's labels to define who I am. That choice belongs to me and me alone. And I think I finally understand that. I think so too, Nerf. So, what are you gonna do now? Damn my dad! No! What? <laughs> Why? I don't know. To break this cycle? What do you expect? I'm just a kid! Eat my farts, butt nut! <laughs> 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 He has a lot of knives, dude. Jesus, a lot of knives. <laughs> and where does he keep getting knives? Gosh darn it! We are going to do things my way. With aggressive It's like pacifism. every camper is supposed to have a knife, but... I'll get the bandages. He just keeps stealing all yeah, of Yeah, he just has everybody else's. <laughs> Wait, Nerf, stop! No! I'm done talking! My emotions can only be expressed through a sadistic tendency! I don't want to talk, or shout, or any of that. I just want to give you a hug. Come here, little guy. Ugh. Oof. <gasps> you smacked. Oh my gosh, Nerf. I am so sorry. Are you okay? Well, that really hurt. Jeez, I can't believe I've been subjecting people to physical violence like this. I feel kind of bad about my behavior. What? Yeah, I, I think I'm going <laughs> to go sit down in my tent and think about what I did today. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> huh. I guess you did it, David. Good job. But I didn't... Hey, David. Thanks for everything. No. Wait! We need to talk about this! This is not okay! <laughs> nah, man, I'm good. I'm going to tell everyone about how you helped me today. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> well... I guess it turns out at the end of the day, sometimes you just gotta hit kids.
Yes. <laughs> yes. Moral of the story. Hit kids. Hit kids. Hit kids. Get hard and hit kids. <laughs> Maybe not the first one. No. F definitely <laughs> the first one. <laughs> if this taught us anything, you gotta get hard on some kids some from time to time. <laughs> What'd you think about Nerf? Nerf! Nerf, he's the bully. He's the bully. He's, the bully. he's just kind of a dick. I mean, Stick. he's supposed to be, he's the bully. but he's aware of it. He's the bully. I think it's funny that he's very aware of himself. Do you think getting <laughs> hit by David fixed him? No. No, you think he's, gonna <laughs> you think he's got more knives? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he def <laughs> he's definitely got more knives. Um, where does he rank on your list of uh, list campers of, list that of you campers? know so far? Um... I mean, you know Max, uh, yeah. Neil, Nikki, as they're the main three. You saw Dolph a while ago, not too long, yeah. last episode. Um, I saw Arid, cool chick. Yeah. Um, Space Kid hasn't had his time to shine. No, I don't not yet. He's kind of had some funny moments, but he hasn't actually like... He hasn't had an episode yeah, to himself. Actually been able to... Where does Nerf rank? Yeah, Nerf is uh I I'd say Nerf is below Dolph for me. Yeah. I thought Dolph was a hilarious character. <laughs> Cuz Dolph cuz Dolph isn't Hitler. No. But he definitely He's definitely meant to image Hitler. <laughs> Whereas Nerf is a bully and he's meant to imitate a bully. Yeah. He's everything. Yeah. Dolph is just innocent. Yeah. He's, he's, just, he's just he just likes arts and crafts. He's just there for arts and crafts and yet for some reason people keep thinking he's Hitler. That's not fair to Dolph. <laughs> um, what was your favorite part about the episode? The favorite part? Yeah. Uh, when David gets stabbed in the hands. This, uh, the first or second time, or both uh, of them. Both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good moment. Just getting stabbed. There it is. <laughs> um, is there anything you want to leave off on? Um... Nothing I can think of. Nothing. That's that's <laughs> that's fine. We're gonna move on to episode ten next time. So for now, be sure to follow Taylor on his social media stuff. Links in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a sponsor over on Patreon. You'll get all these <coughs> gone videos early. Uh, yeah, you'll get them all early, <laughs> and you can watch them then, and you can binge them. But for now, that is going to do it for this video. And until next time, bye bye. <laughs>